Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you I have another little radio. It's an AM FM two band pocket radio. This is the uh, Calamedia SR201, and uh, I got this on uh, on eBay, and it wasn't um, uh, the, the name or the model number isn't listed. I just looked under um, AM FM pocket radio, and it was just generic it, even the photo on uh, the eBay didn't even have the um, the name on it or model or anything so um, hopefully you can find it if you're looking for one it uh, it's a little beat up the box it was just in a uh, an envelope with some thin bubble wrap and it was uh, from uh, from China so it, it did take quite a while to get here um I want to say it was like six weeks to get here but um, I thought it looked interesting, and uh, after the good luck with the uh, the Nia, I thought, well, let's let's see what this one's all about. So this is what I got here. This is the little guy here. It's uh, it's a nice blue color. They have blue, gray, and silver to pick from. I, I picked a blue, and uh, the back is just um, like a grayish black, I guess. So they're probably all the same color on the back. They just got different fronts on them. But um, it it's uh, it's a nicely constructed radio. It's got um, you know drill holes in here. There's a little bit of a you know like a, a pattern, and it, it, it the plastic feels pretty good for a, a pocket radio. It's not like the the Nia, which kind of feels um, like a really cheap plastic. This actually um, doesn't seem to be too bad. And uh, to give you an idea what what size we're talking about here, I have this. Um, this in here, the Cato uh, 201 AM FM radio, and it's pretty much identical in size. The um, blue ones, maybe just a little bit taller, and I would say it's a little thinner. So it's um, it's pretty pretty close to the uh, to the same size. Um, so you know, it's a really a uh, fairly small uh, pocket radio, and uh, that makes it kind of nice. Um, it runs on a couple of um, uh, triple triple A batteries, so standard standard batteries you can get just about anywhere. So I thought we'd uh, just take a little little band scan and and see what it sounds like. I think I've got it set for for AM right now, so we'll we'll give that a spin first. Uh, it just has the tuning dial here, tuning dial here. Uh, the volume and on-off switch is the same. Uh, headphone jack here and the AM-FM band selection there. Uh, telescoping antenna for FM and just the battery door in the back. And it's labeled in the plastic what everything is here on the back. It says FM, AM, band, headphone, symbol, volume, off, and tuning it. It says it all on the, uh, on the back there. All right. to turn the dial and you're stumbling across another station so it's uh, it's really packed in there but uh, seems to be really sensitive no stress that sounds expensive no it's very affordable and if you book 21 days in advance of travel 
That's the bad thing about syndication. Every time you go across the uh, band uh, and it's time for the news, they're all <laughs> saying the same thing. It's hard to tell what when you're on a different channel. Pretty much the uh, the AM band, as you can see, it was just picking up just a ton of stations. Um, it seems to be really uh, sensitive. You have to really move that wheel slow to uh, to dial in a station. And you can even see the dial from this point to this point. It goes from 530 to 700. I mean, that's a, a big area in such a small space. And then it goes from 700 to a thousand here. So it, it's really packed in there especially on the low end of the dial but it does a really good job it, it really does pick up a lot of uh, a lot of stations I would say that uh, this radio here is probably on par 
with the, the little uh, uh, NIA radio that I've showed before. Um, so we'll give it a, a check here on the um, FM band and see what we pick up, but um, I suspect that it'll do um, just as well on the um, FM band. the FM band. I, I just kind of tuned through that a little bit more speedily than the AM bands. I probably could have picked up even more FM stations. Like I say, it's very tightly packed in there and you have to be very slow with the uh, tuning wheel to uh, pick up those stations. Um, the tuning is smooth. The volume control is smooth. Um, the switches are nice. Um, I, I would say the build quality on this is, is pretty good. Um, I would say it's um, cosmetically and, and physically anyway, the build quality is, is better than the NIA, um, smaller as well. Um, this radio, when I bought it uh, about six weeks ago, it was $4.99 shipped, free shipping. So $5 for this radio, an amazing, amazing price. And I just looked and it seems as the seller still has them for $4.99, but now he's charging a dollar ninety nine shipping, so it went from five bucks to seven bucks. So it's a little more than it was when I bought it, but um, uh, still uh, an amazing value for that kind of money. Um, I'm gonna probably uh, um, open it up and uh, see what's inside, and maybe make another little short video on that one. But uh, for now, I thought I'd, I'd show you this uh, radio, the Calamedia model SR201. And this is the box, and there really isn't any other information about it. Um, but they are on uh, on eBay, available for um, purchase. So, until next time, this is the Radio Geek.